Hey everyone, Sam here. Just wanted to just demonstrate to you what I think is <laughs> such a killer feature inside of Power BI now. Um, and I'm gonna do it just based on a demo that I created recently um, for um, an oil, oil, around oil and gas. Now, you know, we've got a lot of like automation techniques and productivity techniques, but when you layer this particular uh, technique onto those as well, man, it is just incredible the insights that you can create and the, and the way that you can visualize them. Now, what I'm talking about here is small field parameters, but also overlaying on that small multiples, the small multiples visualization. So it's basically like a combination. These, these field parameters, there's like a lot of um, diverse ways that you can utilize them, but I think this just as a technique is is incredible, right? So what I what I did in this particular demo was I created a range of um, measures, okay, it's like core measures, and I they're all relatively simple, right? This is like an oil and gas um, rent. It's like a totally random data set on oil and gas um, areas within the states, I believe. Okay, and so what I wanted to do was like there's there's all of these measures that were kind of similar, not exactly the same, but but similar. Like this is um, oil production per rig, I believe. But then we've got, uh, I think it was gas production per rig. Then we've got um, some legacy oil production. Um, some, uh, the terminology is not not, not exact. Um, I'm not exact on exact uh, like what it is, but just think about similar types of insights um, that you'd love to be able to just show one after the other, right? Because they all relate to a certain particular um, dimension in your data set. In this particular case, it's a region, okay? So what I did was, you know, I could have created visualizations um, for each of these individually, but no, I wanted to be able to be able to click through them in a slicer and be able to showcase them as quickly as this, right? So say someone wanted to look at total production, they can, if they want to look at legacy, if they want to look at it per rig, um, you know, you can you can sort them like really, really easily like that, right? Okay. Now this, the, the field parameters feature is incredible, right? You go to modeling and then you go new parameter and then you go fields and look the other thing is like it's just so easy it is so easy to create it's unbelievable um that the the um the implementation of it is is really good really really good okay so i'm going to go fields um and then all i need to do here is come to the measures i've i've selected okay and then i can just select them like this literally as easy as that right change the name and then go create, okay? And also you can automatically add a slicer to the page. Now what it actually does is it, it, all that is doing really is just creating this automated table and it's doing it with a formula, okay? And um, it's, it enables like what you can do inside of measures as you know with measure branching is you can um, reference measures within measures, right? And so really it's just set up all of this so that we don't have to write it out ourselves. Um, and it's done some other um, automated work as well. So you see here that it's literally just calling the actual measure within a particular um, row, okay, in this particular table. So that sets up my slicer really easily, okay? And so what I could have done is, you know, I could have um, just shown this as a total, okay? So I could have just taken this out and then I could have seen total like this, okay? And then I could have had another filter for say my region, um, but instead of that, like this, I love this visualization. Like what we can do with with particular like area charts and line charts, etc., is that there's a small multiples um, a parameter field, and so all you need to do is is drag that field uh, that dimension into here, and all of a sudden it breaks it down into um, what are called small multiples into just small mini charts, right? And so so quickly I'm able to click through all of these different calculations. And they're automatically updating for each individual region as well. Like the amount of calculations which are happening and the speed in which they're calculating is just truly amazing. And how, and you know just being able to see the trends, right? The trends of all of these very very quickly. Okay. So I think that this is, you know, when you use these like field parameters by itself is awesome. But you know this this layering these two on together is is pretty phenomenal to be honest. Um, pretty amazing what what can be done and how quickly it can be done you can have a lot of um you can do a lot of manipulation on these small multiples um you can actually change the grid size which i do quite often to make sure that it, that it fits into one page i don't really like having to scroll um so much so that's all very very easy to do and there's you know there's, there's various other things you can do as well okay so look that's it don't have to go on too much longer than that. It's not difficult. This is not hard. This is actually a very simple technique. But um, you know, when you've got something similar, 
it, historically it would have been quite time consuming to set this up this can take you know you can do it in about 10 percent of the time now utilizing these features so so good luck um trying it out i plan to use it a lot more to to throw together you know really valuable insights um, and make them um, easy to consume for the user and and i think um you know you'll 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 get a lot of great feedback if you do that as well okay take care everyone hey everyone thanks for tuning in to enterprise dna tv if you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial please throw the video a like it really helps us and we really appreciate it also don't forget to subscribe to the enterprise dna tv channel uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use power bi and the power platform lastly check out enterprise dna's website plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily all the best. Take care.